The year is 1950, the All-Star Game. After crashing into a wall and breaking his elbow, a player whose hitting ability has given him the nickname the Splendid Splinter shows how he earned that name. Ted Williams ignores the broken elbow and hits safely. <laughs> we were friends 50 years ago. Yeah. Longer than Longer that. Longer than that, yeah. So I'd say 54 years. Yeah, at least. And when the Hoover High class of 37 got together last weekend to celebrate having survived 50 years since high school, the man some say was the best hitter of all time was there reminiscing too. I said, you never remember me. I remember we used to... What was your name? I'm Nancy Field. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember I that, baby. Ball. Yes, I do, dear. I remember that, baby. I sure do. The depression was still very much a reality when the class of 37 was leaving the hallowed halls of Hoover High. Amelia Earhart flew off that year, never to be seen again, and the jitterbug was the rage. Fifty years later, these depression kids look like they've survived pretty well, even if it was hard getting some of the names and some of the faces straight. I'm Dolores Carper. Hi, Dolores. Oh, you How should are you? know who, who I am. Sure, I do. Where do you live, Shirley? Florida. You do? Yeah. We're in Florida. So Orlando, you coming? Many would not choose to seek greener pastures, but would stay right here at home. Like John Glenn. He'd get a lot of mileage out of his name over the years. Just never had the urge to go traveling. <laughs> John lives in the home where he was born. That's his dad back in the 30s in front of the Glen home in North Park. John went to San Diego State after high school, then worked in plumbing, a career interrupted by two years in Europe during World War II. That's him and his son before John was shipped off. John and his wife and sister kept fixing up his parents' home over the years. When the senior Glens died, John and his wife moved back home. Same lot I mowed when I was nine years old. <laughs> Is it as hard to mow today? Worse, yeah. <laughs> Say, John, Most John, of the members yeah, of go, Hoover yeah. High's class of 37 would go on to live relatively sorry, quiet lives here in San Diego. But one member of that class would go on to achieve national fame. He would become an American hero. And it all started right here in this dugout on what's now called Ted Williams Field. The caption by his graduating picture says it all. Ted Williams would become one of the best and the best known players in the history of baseball. He was the last player to hit 400. He would be elected to baseball's Hall of Fame and honored across this country, including here in his hometown as recently as last week. Oh, geez, isn't this beautiful? Hey, look at me. It's wonderful. Hey. Baseball is the single most important thing that happened to me by far. Uh, the other experiences along the way were, were uh, uh, you know, memorable and, and important, but uh, nothing could ever in any way take the place of baseball in Ted Williams' life. Having gone in different directions, having led different lives, the class of 37 came together last week. To see some old friends and to convince myself that the passage of time really doesn't mean that much. It doesn't. After all these years and then coming back and seeing them, it, they're like old friends, you know. It feels that way? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. You have to see their name tag first, but I found out that they're all still the same people underneath. It only takes just a minute and you know them. Did you go to college after Hoover? I went to dramatic school in Hollywood ah. for a year, and then I came back and worked in my father's drugstore. They got a chance to put down for posterity just where life has taken them. They got a chance to dance to the music of their day. John Glenn got a chance to dance with the woman who, for a time in high school, captured his heart. And a chance to sum it all up. For those of you who, who didn't become as famous as he, was life still as good, ultimately? Yes, I, I think so. I've enjoyed my life very much. I felt I was successful in the business I went into. Uh, I've had a successful marriage and family. And uh, I think that's what it was all about. Could life have turned out 
any better for Ted Williams? Well, you always look back and you say, gee, I made a lot of mistakes and, and uh, I wish things could have been a little different. But I have so many wonderful things have happened to me and I've been, I know how lucky I've been. And so I've never wanted to go back one single day of my life. Ted Williams was the only member of the class of 37 to achieve national fame. But he was like anybody else in summing up his 50th reunion. I saw a lot of faces I remembered and didn't remember the names. And I remembered a lot of names and I didn't quite remember their faces. But uh, regardless, I thought as a group we looked pretty damn good. Yeah.